29 Jesse Wells spoke to that man's mother and fiance today. He shares their plea for justice. According to court records, two people heard the shooting here in this alley, but neither of those witnesses actually saw the shooting. During the investigation, police did make one arrest, but no one has yet been held accountable for the killing. On Sunday night, just before 9 o'clock, IMPD officers were called to this alley between Illinois and Meridian and found a 28-year-old man shot to death. They took my child. He was my baby. Trisha Neal admits her son, Cameron Harmon, struggled with drug addiction issues for a long time, but insists he had worked hard to turn his life around over the last year. Just don't ever judge a book by its cover. Cameron looks, you know what I mean? He, I mean, he's covered in tattoos. He has, you know, lived a sort of troubled past, but he's a really great person. Alyssa says she was engaged to be married to Cameron next month, that wedding will now never get to take place. It's amazing to see the light turn on in someone's eyes after seeing so, so much darkness. His life was there. It was there. It was worth living. It was worth fighting for. And you people just took it like it's nothing. After the shooting in this alley, nearby witnesses reported seeing two cars drive away from the scene. Cameron's mother praised the IMPD detective assigned to the case, but says the motive for the violence remains a mystery. If you're murdered, gunned down like that, left for dead in an alley, you deserve justice. These court and jail records show 32-year-old Dylan Day was arrested for obstruction of justice after he confessed he came across the victim's body and removed a handgun from the scene. Police later recovered that weapon at Day's mother's home just a few blocks away here on Union Street. Still, Cameron's family desperately wants whoever pulled the trigger taken off the streets as well. Obviously, nothing's going to bring him back, but if nothing else, can we at least get justice for what happened? Again, because no arrests have been made for the homicide, anyone with information on the cases still has to contact either IMPD's homicide office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. All right, Jesse, thank you.